What's going on, everybody? Your boy, Big Lock. Here to talk about the Texas shootout style that we're going to use in the after-day turkey shootout in East Orange, New Jersey with the Czech boys and the Tri-State EF Area Network as my so forth one customers is going to be involved. And the reason I like the Texas shootout style because it was a style that really prepared me in a lot of aspects and learning important skills in EF. Tweaking, proper placement, the clocks, passing, kicking. It's a style that you really have to select your figures well with because you may want to run a certain type of flow. You do want to run a certain type of flow, whether that's a, a passing game or a strong running game or a zone defense or 3 4 defense or a power 4 3 defense. So, the shootout style, you can use a couple of different aspects of preparation. One thing I will say it's a style where you have to know how to throw the football. Some of the best passes I've ever seen, honestly, and it's a lot of guys that do it great, but some of the guys that I've seen uh, in the DFW. And in Texas, really, and in L.A., that use the Texas shootout style, really throw the football well. So it's a style that, you know, you have to have the skills. You're kicking, you're passing, your play selection, how you want your play to run, you know, the, the elements of the box, which cause penalties and, uh, and injuries. So there's different aspects of it. So we're going to bring that to New Jersey, where we're going to have a, a side for shootout style and a side for TOC style, which them guys are really trying to prepare us. So we're going to do some things. But I want to bring elements to the shootout style which really prepared me for the fat eight style because it helped it helped me understand the game better to feel better how to hit gaps how to understand how to throw the ball into certain zones and paths and alleys by just having the skills because shootout makes you prepare for certain things. You're going to learn how to run the ball. You're going to learn how to play the gaps. You're going to learn how to slide block. It's one of those styles that, to me, it's really open because you can use everything. So nothing's really barred. Bases, you know, some cats in L.A. play the style shootout with ball bases. It's also a style that both custom figure and, and stock figure can play. Because there have been some stock figure guys that have won a couple of Texas shootout uh, tournaments. But with the custom figures, you can do certain things in the shootout style where it's designed for them figures to really perform, whether it's defensively or offensively. Where it's the speed get open receivers that can't get caught on the corner or get caught on the custom cover corner. You know, or running back to you're going to hit the gap with the sweep. Or just get outside the box and get around the corner. You know, so there's certain things you can do in Texas shootout style that's developed for better plays, better reaction on plays offensively and defensively because you do get the audible, you do get the movement on uh, on, on, on pre-snap. So you can actually play specific defensive schemes and really be strong in certain things. It's also a style that's set up for custom figures if you want to play a certain type of offense so you don't got to get stuck. If you want to use a passing line, that's what you're going to do. You can have your stuff on ITZs, dropping back. You know, straight dropping back. You can use the leaning figures. You can use the jumping figures. It's really open to custom figures is the style. So, you know, one thing I learned when uh, when Reg wrote Anatomy of an Athlete was that you have to start looking at your figures position, position by athlete. And I think that's something Texas Shootout style really does because it doesn't really restrict you. It's kind of open. You know, you do have a rule, but things are set in the rule book. But so far, it's an open style to play. Um, I think stacking, you can... Leave it in as original. You can take it out depending on what you want to do. But I just really feel that the Texas shootout style is one of the styles that I want to really stay around or see stay around, excuse me. Um, it's prepared me for what I'm doing now in fatty football. It got my interest peaked into other styles because, like I said, you really have to prepare a shootout style. And it's one of those styles that when you really do it big, you got the stadium, all your figures are done right, your timers are done right. It's a figure for customizers when you want to make figures that really play positionally, hands up, blitzing, cover corner, violent runner, all the stuff that you see, the, the, uh, the scrolling tackles, they catch the loopers. This is a style that you see a lot of that stuff was created from. So I got to give credit to Reg Rutledge on the 4.0 style. Even though I'm doing something now that's a little bit more evolved, you know, you know, figures like Larry Walker, kickoff electric figures, my stuff. The more radical stuff kind of fits in, in Texas shootout style. Along with stock stuff. So I'm not saying that both can't be used because they, because they can. Uh, man, I tried to get uh, props to James Harris on the on the color crushed green uh, Seahawks uniform. Big shout to him. Just some time of breaking in what we're talking about. But we got a lot of stuff coming, guys. Watch the Fat 8. Watch the Fat 8 Season 3. Amazing stuff so far. 
Big game for FAMU. They playing big. Who knows how it may come back. That's a great team. We got so much coming down the line, man. We got so much. Shout out to my man Jalen. Shout out to my man Abdul. Shout out to the whole fourth and one country relations team. We got the Fat A gear coming. Cheerleaders, figures, all this stuff is coming down the line. The Raw Lock line coming out real soon. So holla at your boy. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Comment, write, and subscribe. Hit like. Thank you, people.